Hitmonchan, we can see you're not so... Not so pleasant. I'm gonna cut that out. What the hell? <laughs> Content creators are out there in all sorts of forms. From YouTubers, to Twitch streamers, to even game developers and more. With so many content creators out there, it can be difficult to discover some new personalities to tune into. And so came the idea of Creators Collide, a series focusing on showcasing fellow creators out there, and maybe learning something new about some of your favorite content creators along the way. Each episode focuses on a fellow content creator, their journey to get to where they are with their content today, and their sights on the future as we play games with or against them. Welcome to Creators Collide. Hello, hello! Guzma, nerd, friend, bug, it's a bug thing. Anyway, welcome to Creators yeah. Collide. The thing that, wait, where, wait, where are we going? Oh, I'm weak to ice. Um, wait, I'm weak to dark too with, tri oh, what the oh hell? Oh God. Well, I'm fighting so we can pick either one. Uh, that's a Just frost pick random moth. Left. There's items towards the, I don't know. I chose Just, right. I'll pick random, yeah. I guess we're going right. Anyway, welcome to Creators Collide, the thing that I'm trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing here. How are it's you doing today? Boy. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm doing all right. Just playing some games here with your boy Harmonia. <laughs> with your boy Harmonia. You sound pretty chill. Pretty chilled out yeah. today. One of them kind of chill days or whatnot. This, I think my physical attack Oh satisfied. no. No. What? Communication error has occurred. No. Gosh, diddly darn it. Okay, second tries the charm. It's apparently an ice type now. Look at that. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? Wh where are we going, huh? I'm just now noticing. Do you have the freaking white hair and yellow gra glasses there? Like good old sudden moves. Yes, Guzma? I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Heck yeah. Of course. What a legend. Why wouldn't I be? I mean, it's your boy. It's I your boy. Pass on that opportunity. <laughs> I mean, if the game is making it available, I'm like, why not? Mm -hmm. Kind of wish they had like Team Skull outfits in here, like they do Team Yell, but this isn't Sword and Shield. I mean, this is Sword and Shield. So. <laughs> this isn't Sword and Shield. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I know I had the the Team Skull stuff in Sun and Moon games. It's too so. bad this isn't Sword and Shield. Look how tiny your Tyrantrum is! Yeah, freaking Pokemon models in a nutshell. <laughs> First of all, I figure I may as well ask, introduce yourself. What you got going on with your whole shib- Wow, did- wait. That wasn't a- <laughs> Did you just get one shot? There's no way. Wait. Oh no. Wait. It got weird. No, you did- You did die, but you came so close. Anyway. Oh, anyway. Introduce yourself. Who are who are you? Anyway. <laughs> well, obviously, if you couldn't tell by the title, it's <laughs> your boy Guzma. <laughs> yeah, if you if there are people who watch a lot of Pokemon stuff, they probably came across me at one point. Because Pokemon mashup you know, kind of stuff. A Pokemon mashup's been also a lot of um animations as well, but mm -hmm. Basically, the biggest thing that I started on the channel was, like, back in 2016, mm -hmm. I said, I think, and I used to start off with these animations, these 3D wacky animations <laughs> of uh, Team Skull and such. It was, it was super wacky, <laughs> but I, I kind of did it for fun because it was kind of like during the time I was in high school, mm -hmm. so I did it as a thing to pass time. Help, uh, help me get through high school and such. But um, mm -hmm. all the animations I made through YouTube were actually through this program software called MMD. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you've heard of like the Vocaloids before, like Miku, at some point. I have not actually. Ring a bell. I'm sorry to say. I have not. You want the BEM? <laughs> well, because you're almost dead. Nah, I'm good. Actually, yeah. I was about to say, the free heal opportunity. The free, if you don't know what it is, it's basically some kind of like, pretty big popular thing in the east, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll say go for steel. But um, yeah. it's a pretty popular animation kind of thing that a lot of people like with these 
particular cast of characters that like to do a lot of dances and such <laughs> with specific music. But they ended up having the um, the actual program or software that they have for it mm -hmm. on uh, on the internet. So I figured it could be something I could try out because back when I was um, in high school, Guzma was probably one of my favorite characters ever at the time because of how <laughs> wacky he was, and I figured I could make a lot of meme material with him. So that's basically what I did. I kind of just used that and. At the time, I didn't actually make the model. There were other people who had like created the models for Team Skull, as well as a lot of other characters from Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I ended up using that. But of course, of course, I credited them because if I didn't credit them, that would technically be considered plagiarizing. Although I, I wish I, I knew how to do it. I think this introduction is seeming like the thing that answers all the rest of the questions here. I feel like this, uh... Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> basically... Basically, what I do on my channel is just... I used to do MMD animations, 3D model animations, and now I do mashups. A lot of Pokemon stuff, though. But yeah, so I figure oh, I may no. as well ask, like... What kind of content do you create? Well, do wow. Oh. Uh, never mind to that. Oh, rip. Um, anyway, what kind of content do you do you create with your with your channel over there? Oh, well, as I've already mentioned, <laughs> as I mentioned already, as I mentioned earlier already, I first used to do a lot of MMD animations, which is what they technically call the kind of animations that I do. Um, which stands for Miku Miku Dance, and... News to me. <laughs> a lot of it used to be just a bunch of memes and shit posting, because a lot of people, when they upload MMDs, they'll end up doing, like, this cool dance with their own music in the background. <laughs> but for me, I ended up just making up, like, a bunch of, like, shit posts to short video clips were just like the wackiest things ever <laughs> and honestly that stuff used to entertain me so much so it's what i used to enjoy doing back then but like so it kind of started the out time, there doing stuff that cracked you up and you got enjoyment out of and whatnot yeah basically i mean at the time i didn't actually know how to like animate properly or make models and such so there were already people that had models created and motions so what motions were were basically just like the movement that you would add to every single model that was there and the first couple years i would just end up using the people's motions and models and i'd end up crediting them in the description and eventually over time i ended up collaborating with a few other people who i met along the way that i did end up doing it with and from there i did actually end up learning how to do my emotions but there was a time where it got so frustrating that it took so long to do that I kind of figured I'd try something else out other than that. So mm -hmm. that's where I started doing um, Pokemon mashups because since technically I do have a Pokemon related channel, I figured keep it um, Pokemon related and do Pokemon mashups since Pokemon is something I grew up with as a kid and kind of sticks with me ever since. But yeah, I know that nowadays what most people know you for is mostly your mashup stuff, though, right? Definitely, yeah. Because I usually get more attention with that lately, as I used to do with animations, because there was a time where I did end up uploading a random animation, but it didn't end up getting as much attention as the mashups do. So, like I said, I still do it for fun, so I will occasionally just upload other stuff other than just mashups, but at the moment I do enjoy doing mashups more. I figure next thing that I'd ask here is basically how long you've been how long you've been doing that then. Both with the mashups and the and the shit posts and whatnot. Um basically since high school. Ever since I was sophomore, I believe. Sophomore or junior. It was terms that we don't have in Canada. Uh, basically since late 2016 is when I created it. Like, gotcha, right gotcha. around the time when Sun and Moon came out. 
But yeah, so what inspired you to start out with that? Was that maybe seeing like some other some other similar things on, on the platform? Um, yeah, actually it was that. I remember seeing a few other people doing it before and some of it was super wacky. So <laughs> I figured why not try getting into it? It looked Why not try it simple. out? Yeah, it seemed pretty simple. Especially when they had motions available for people to use to like add to the models to try it out. So mm -hmm. I figured it could be used to make some interesting kind of content. Nice entry level kind of thing there then. Funnily enough, some of the people I used to watch do even before I ended up creating the stuff that I did, I ended up collaborating. Oh god, that was close. Wow, you're consistently getting recto here. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having the worst RNG right now. Got outplayed, what can I say? I got outplayed by a bug type move, I feel offended. <laughs> Imagine getting outplayed by a bug type in Pokemon. I did MMPs for about three years, two, three years, and then after that, I kind of just started moving over to mashups about a year or two ago, I believe. <laughs> I'm Probably just now realizing that I'm still in the freaking orange. E hey, look at that! I just re now know. realize I'm still in the orange expedition stuff instead of wearing like normal things. Going on over here. Ah, oh, quick claw. This is an outrage. And do you know what else is an outrage and super uh, controversial? What are your favorite and least favorite games? Um. Well, currently you know what my favorite game is. But right now, ah uh, yeah, Waluigi's Studio is... Apartment. Who could forget that masterpiece? <laughs> yeah, totally best game of all time. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's actually Explorers of Sky because mm. I actually grew up playing Explorers of Time, which is probably one of the very few Pokemon games that I first played, and I think I recall playing it around the same time that. It came out, so like, shortly after when Explorers of Sky came out. Funnily enough, I, rem act I actually remember seeing the the trailer for it come on TV, and I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. So, <laughs> I figured I ended up getting it, and when I ended up playing it, I vaguely remember, but that game actually, the game was like, probably one of the few games that ever made me cry, not like, that's what explorers will do. Tears, but not like sobbing tears, but like it did make me tear up a bit. It doesn't do it as often as it does. It doesn't do it often now as it did back then, but it definitely had a huge emotional impact on me way back then. Mm -hmm. And ever since, I've kind of just played it annually, every now and then. And finally enough, I used enough, to play it annually. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably one of the first few games that I ever play annually. <laughs> I mean, my brother, I actually introduced the game to my brother a few years ago. The game Wait. that I had. You're telling me with this attack, Baratic was the only one who didn't dodge it and all three of the others dodged it. <laughs> can we just, wow. can we just reflect on the absurdity of this for a hot second? Yeah, freaking Dynamax adventures are whack. <laughs> But I mean, that's, so, that's also what makes it so fun, too, because you never know what you're going to get, either. What you're going to get? It's just like EA markets their loot boxes. Surprise mechanics! Look at that master man! <laughs> He's okay, pierced his hair! Ooh, Dynamax turret. Oh, no. <laughs> you thought the ant oh. hill in your backyard was a problem with your regular ants? Just wait until your backyard gets infested with these little truckers. Don't. Oh, no. Don't. Oh, no. Okay, oh, thank God. Oh, oh finally. Kaboom. Heck yeah. Kaboom. Kaboom. I Kaboom. love how at the end of Dynamax Adventures, it's just like Michael Bay. But yeah, as I was saying, I actually ended up introducing my brother to Explorers of the Sky a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And that was like the only game chip I currently have. And ever since he completed it. Uh, no He's kind of just held on to it because he enjoyed the game so much. <laughs> so I'm like, well, looks like I might have to buy a new one. Oh. 
but yeah, it's it's whatever. As long as he enjoyed it as much as I did, then I'm glad that he was able to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So that's probably one of the one of my favorite games that I've ever played, other than Tales of Asperia, because mm, that game you... also made me laugh more than any other game I've played in a long time. And that's a game that you recently got me playing. Also, don't mind me as I freaking like dash to this house and put on whatever my normal stuff is. If I remember, I haven't played in a long time, so I might not remember, but we'll see. Uh, I'll go for <laughs> all my stuff water sucks. Punch. Yeah, all of our stuff. It all, bruh. Freaking Dynamax Adventures in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> imagine using your own Pokemon. Yeah, imagine. Anyway, but yeah, on the topic of favorite games, what are your least favorite games? Mm. That's actually uh, apart from this Dynamax thing. adventure right now, <laughs> wanting to <laughs> put us up against odds where all of our moves suck. Um, that's actually pretty tricky to say. I've actually played a lot of games that it's hard for me to determine which game I dislike the most because, mm. like I said, I do I, I have played a lot of games, but it would be tricky for me to decide which one I least like, not like ones that I completely hate or, mm -hmm. you know. Is such, there a game that you really hate and really grinds your gears? No, I don't think I have one. Because <laughs> I, before I ever end up playing a game, I usually do a little bit of research on it to mm -hmm. see if it's a game I genuinely enjoy playing. So all games that I have played are games that I technically enjoy playing. So there hasn't been a game that like you've played you've picked up super duper hyped for we're looking forward to it for a long time and then you were just like wow this sucks because that's happened to me for a few games oh yeah okay yeah when it comes to that <laughs> freaking bravely default too the story really? was just super oh super the story crazy. and i'm like yeah because i'm about to like say every time we've talked though. about bravely default 2 it's almost always like positive things and there are a lot of things that are awesome oh about yeah that. frozen there are a lot of things that are awesome about that game this is a game on Frozen. Oh, oh, I mean, it got Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking like, about- Wait, the movie? Yeah, I'm gonna switch the topic to the freaking Frozen video game. Best game ever made. Yo, have you ever played Frozen, the video game? It's about a Hitmonchan that you can see up the freaking man skirt of because he's giant as heck. It's a little he's, like, bit disturbing. Frozen in one position, he's frozen in one position, but when you attack him, he suddenly moves somehow. Also, it's Michael Bay. He just exploded. Oh no! But yeah, I know Michael with Bay was the cool one. <laughs> I know with Bravely Default 2, there were a lot of really cool things about that game, but the story was odd. Yeah. I mean, it's not often that I end up playing a game that I don't know anything about that I don't do research on. Mm -hmm. But Breathe Default 2 was one of those exceptions, and... You ain't this. For science. I didn't... Yeah. For science. What I did NPC? enjoy my time with it, but the story was, like, the one thing I didn't really thoroughly enjoy. But yeah, when it comes to your content creation shenanigans there, time with your YouTube channel, how have you been enjoying your time with that? Have there been, like, any major... Roblox or stresses you've hit along the way? Any, anything like that? I'm keeping my hit my um, chat. You can't tempt me. Which? Let's just hope it does, the camera doesn't go up its skirt again. Um. I do. Anyway, the question you asked. Oh no, it's the noon. Yeah, have you been enjoying your content creation stuff? Have there been any crazy Roblox or things like that? Um, I've genuinely enjoyed the content I've been making. There hasn't been like anything that I ever dislike doing, <laughs> unless if, unless I was talking about the live streams, because the live streams is like the only frustrating thing I've ever really encountered. Mm -hmm. And that was mostly from technology not quite working out. Yeah, that's basically the only thing, the only major roadblocks I've ever had most of the time. But generally, is... been enjoying the whole the whole past oh, yeah. several years of content creation shenanigans. Oh yeah. Definitely. All the stuff that I have on my channel is usually positive, but there is occasional, very few, like, drama kind of situations yeah. that kind of got in the way. Like, I had a Twitter way back then, and 
when I had that Twitter, apparently someone who was a fan of another person who'd make the same content I make, they thought I was copying them on a oh. specific video that they made uh, earlier in the day that I made, and they called me out for it, which kind of sucked, because like, it wasn't really my intention to copy them or anything, mm -hmm. and they weren't even the one that uploaded it, they kind of just wanted to start drama just because they wanted to start drama. Because it's Twitter. And yeah, it's Twitter. So... In the Why end, would anybody download just... that app if it wasn't to start drama? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like that back then, but recently it has been getting kind of out of control. But the best case scenario I could probably think out of that was just to, you know, delete my account and just move on and not interfere with what was going on. Just a kind of situation to move past. Yeah. Not dwell on or whatnot. No, not really. But other than that, the minor roadblocks I've ever encountered when creating content is usually the video editor I use, which is Movavi. <laughs> not sponsored, by the way. Um, <laughs> Hashtag not sponsored, but could be. Also, when you said roadblocks, I heard Roblox for a hot sec. Oh, I was like, bro. wait, you're a Roblox <laughs> channel? <laughs> Gross! Nah. No, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ending the freaking recording right here. No way. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the video ends but, the moment um... we talk about Roblox. <laughs> if Roblox comes up in conversation, nah. the series ends. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, no, that's definitely not what my channel is about. But one of the biggest road... Or the minor roadblocks I have had when creating videos is that the video editor I use would end up crashing a lot of the times mm. and it would buffer some every now and then. I mean, it used to work pretty good for a long time, but ever since I kind of moved on from my ever computer, which is what I used. There was some the great meme war, oh no. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a meme war. But yeah, anyway, with your time with the past several years across the channel, are there some major milestones you've hit? Some future goals of milestones that you'd like to hit? Um, ever since I first started my channel, I never actually had any kind of milestone that I wanted to achieve. I kind of just started uploading stuff on there for fun. Just kind of started being a really filthy expected... <laughs> Yeah, I never really expected anyone to watch any of the stuff I uploaded or memes and whatnot. <laughs> so when I, st when I started getting more attention, it kind of threw me off guard. So as it was like growing and growing the past few years, I kind of just made up a few little milestones here and there along the way. Like <laughs> one of the biggest milestones I think I remember getting was like the 5000 one mm -hmm. and the 6969 one. <laughs> <laughs> but that was about it. And I don't know if, I, if I'm going to have any other milestones in the future. Since like I said, it's just for fun, but if, if mm -hmm. it Still ever just does get to a point... With the flow. Yeah, if it ever does get to that point where people ask me to start doing stuff like that, then I might. But as of milestones, or future milestones, I don't actually have any planned. I just oh. owe Solgaleo. I just do stuff for fun. I've never seen a Solgaleo in this before, but to be fair, I don't have a ton of time in it, I guess. But this is the first I'm seeing this. Who would win? One trillion lions or the sun? Or whatever that is. <laughs> oh no, that meme. Or oh, the no. sun lion itself. Who would win? The I've... sun or one trillion sun lion Solgaleos? <laughs> but yeah, when it comes to the past several years of your channel shenanigans, have there been any crazy major stories or events that you'd like to share? Anything particularly out there? Um... Yeah, one of the biggest stories I remember having, it was probably when I was still doing the animations. It was kind of when I got to know a few other people who did the same thing. <laughs> and it was throughout the course of a year or two, I believe. And they all ended up doing the same thing I did. And it's kind of like my inspiration at first, when I first started out my channel. <laughs> so, oh no, rip Trevor <laughs> <laughs> we interrupt the but, um, story for a tree that has died. Oh no, a tree. Save the trees. <laughs> Save the Trevenants but, um, from the evil sun lions. 
back then when I was still doing animations, I did a lot of collaborations with a lot of people who did the same thing as I did. And that's probably like one of the biggest things that I'm proud to say that I was able to do. Mm -hmm. Like I still have a few videos uploaded right now that I ended up doing a collaboration with. That was probably like the biggest achievement that I'm proud of. It was pretty like, it was like the wackiest thing I ever made. <laughs> and it was so funny. It's basically like a take on me, a uh, meme animation. And at the end, you just see freaking Lunala just joining in on a minute. It was the funniest, <laughs> it was like the funniest thing it was ever made. Freaking Solo Leo, big freaking legendary, and it just that damage. Solgaleo, is it dangerous for our children? Click now and find out. But yeah, when it comes to things going on with your channel, are there any future projects that you'd like to tackle going forward here? Um, as of right now, I think I do actually. I was trying to recall if I remember having any future projects, your but I your actually Twitch do. Oh yeah, the Twitch stream as well. I am. Um, I have been playing Explorers of Sky Extreme Randomizer on there lately, so that is definitely something I've been doing. Mm -hmm. Probably like one of the wackiest things I've ever encountered throughout any game I've ever played. So like, what were your starters again yeah. during that? Um, I ended up having to restart multiple times because like crazy stuff happened. But one of the kind of like that <laughs> my favorite. Oh yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> Oh no, but like, it got weird. The battlefield like, got weird! <laughs> Uncle Grandpa, oh no, where is he at? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but, I think um, Grandpa's trying to tell us something. What do you have to say, Grandpa? The battlefield got weird! It got weird! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Oh god, did we just freaking lose against someone? <laughs> yep. We had all four lives going into the Soul Galeo oh, that battle. actually sucks. I'll forgive it if I get a shiny in one of the previous things. Let's see. Next summary. The answer is... No. No. Rip. Oh well. Nasty plot seems pretty good, but... I think I'll go for smoking for now. I wonder if it was some nasty pot that made the battlefield so weird. <laughs> oh no. As for future projects on the channel, there is actually stuff I haven't wanted to do since since I first made uh, animations. There was a time where I made 2D animations, but it kind of mm -hmm. like, it took way too long. Let's, let's go for Ghost. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gore. Shiny I gore am an cool. automaton ready to use my <laughs> giant fists to ruin your day. Oh, jeez. I don't, I don't want that freaking fist coming Wait. anywhere near me. Wait. Wait. Uh, funny story. I might not actually have any moves that do anything. As I was saying, there was a time where I did 2D animations. <laughs> And that was probably like the funniest thing <laughs> I ever made on the channel just because of how silly it was. It had a lot of swear words in it too, but like, it was also just oh no. there as oh like no. a joke to make fun of everything. Oh jeez, ah! that was close. But it took, it took way too long to make. Even if it was like one or two minutes, it took me over eight hours to make. And at the time, I wasn't like the best animator in the world since I technically used MS Paint. <laughs> but, <laughs> but everybody starts I've gotten, somewhere. I've gotten, yeah, everyone starts somewhere. That's definitely true. But ever since, ever since then, I have gotten significantly better at doing, at drawing and doing art as well. So mm -hmm. if I ever end up bringing it back, which hopefully would be sometime soon, whenever I decide to do it. Hopefully I'll be able to be more efficient with making it because it's it was definitely time consuming. But that's one of the other projects I am bringing on backing. I am bringing on. I am. <laughs> I am bringing, on, bringing on backing. backing. <laughs> I am planning on bringing back. 
and they'll probably just leave backing, it off where and I that left. that backing is today's sponsor. Oh no, Rage, Rage Shadow Legends. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, that's why I continued it. <laughs> But yeah, I kind of had it like a little ongoing series, like each part would end up continuing where the previous part left off. Mm -hmm. So, right now, technically the previous part is just Guzma stuck on Aether Foundation in jail. But I'm like, oh no, what a great place to end it off for now. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's totally not going to look bad. Or <laughs> but yeah, it's I'm going to continue it off from there whenever I end up getting back to it. Mm -hmm. Boom! Michael Bay. <laughs> Michael Bay was a Pokemon. I wonder what that would be. Probably Ultra Necrozma. No, just a Geo dude that uses explosion. <laughs> like the shiny Geo dude you find on some early game route that uses explosion immediately. Oh, it's a Celio. It's a Celio. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Hi, friend. Like the fanciest mustache I've ever seen in any Pokemon game. I've been grooming my ginormous mustache all day. You wouldn't believe. I'm so <laughs> glad you're finally here to see it. I sure hope you don't Michael Bay me. Time for a big Matang, methinks. But yeah, when it comes to your channel there over the past several years of doing it, what would you say are your favorite and least favorite parts of about being the content creator that you are? Um, currently right now, my favorite parts about being a content creator is usually all the people who watch my stuff, right? They'll end up, because I have a lot of, I do actually have a surprisingly large amount of people that actually comment on my stuff mm -hmm. and enjoy listening and watching the stuff that I make. So to me, usually seeing the, the crazy kind of positive comments that people will have on my channel. Oh god, no. Ah! Ah! Oh no, are we- we're gonna die before we even make it to Giratina, I swear to god. <laughs> it's gonna be the worst thing. Because <laughs> Giratina's already super tanky, so we may not even live to see Giratina either. Yeah. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Not even Flex Tape's gonna be able to fix that one! But yeah, probably the biggest thing that I enjoy out of content creating is seeing mostly the comments that people will post because the, the fact that people take time out of their day to watch my stuff mm -hmm. and going further beyond by actually making a comment on it one HP really? William doesn't want to switch out? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> no. Freaking William. How damn it. Damn it, William. Oh no, yeah, the freaking man team's gonna Hi, target friends. freaking <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> Worst Pokemon ever exist. I haven't seen oh, no. new people around here in 38 years! I wonder why. <laughs> Are you trying to imply that I'm not likable? Maybe, maybe I... not. Who knows? Look, I'm so cute, though. I'm gonna air slash you cutely now. <laughs> <laughs> that face, though. That just got a still face. <laughs> yup, this is life now. For a hot second. <laughs> He's not doing it anymore. This. But yeah, it's is there anything that you'd say soul. that you really haven't liked about the time of content creation like any least favorite part um i don't think there is ever since that one moment on twitter mm -hmm. where that crazy drama stuff happened the great twitter um, war <laughs> the great twitter meme meme war <laughs> but ever since then i don't think there actually have been any moments that have like made me genuinely upset there hasn't been anything that, mm. that generally upset me since then mm. mostly just positive things on the channel mm -hmm. oh, that's good to hear Giratina's oh, no. out here will we be able to 
do things? Probably not, but we'll try and see what happens. Go, go, lurk. Punch him. It's the effort that counts. The real Giratinas were the friends we made along the way. <laughs> the real shiny Giratinas. Going for Dynamax, I see. Heck yeah. Yeah, so I can do Shadow Punch, but like Ultra Punch, like Captain Falcon. I can do a freaking Falcon Punch. Heck yeah. With these massive gross hands of mine that are almost as gross as the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl hands. <laughs> Their face yeah, is so totally. scary, though. <laughs> I don't know, will he be able to freaking punch his fists in Giratina after that scary face? Who knows? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. It's not even gonna be a fist anymore. It's gonna be chairs and teapots oh. and stuff. And Giratina barely care. I want a refund. <laughs> but yeah, one Dude, of the big things anywhere. that I want to ask is definitely, what do you want your content to do for you and what would you like it to do for others? Well, when I first started making it, like I mentioned, I only go. Oh, that's so close. That's that's so that's now that's scary. Scary face may not be scary, but that's definitely scary. <laughs> but um, when I first started uploading stuff, I kind of just did it for fun. Mm -hmm. Mostly did it to get myself a few laughs out of it. Maybe hoping to make a few other people laugh out of it if other people ended up seeing it. Mm -hmm. So. Looking back on it now, after so many surprising amount of people that ended up watching it, kind of like makes me feel glad that I was able to have a lot of people that watched it. Mm. And a lot of people still do. I still get notifications from videos way back then, every now and mm. like just earlier today. So seeing that kind of made me feel a little, a little proud about that. A that little bit of still Christmas watch magic, Noah. But no, that's, oh no, oh no. Freaking. But, but still, but it's still good to hear that like even old stuff is still like bringing people enjoyment and bringing people some laughs and whatnot. Oh yeah, no, that was pretty much my intention. Anyway. I got Michael Bade, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, when I first did it just for the memes, part of me like Bro, we got another I'll be, oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> Bro, so rare. Yeah, here we go. Freaking RNG, let's go. It's gonna freaking fall out before we kill it, though. I swear to God. <laughs> this freaking I'm Dynamax a big frozen dragon use... now. And anyway, as you were saying. <laughs> but um, wait, what was I saying? I just... <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? Oh no. Oh, just no. starting out for like the memes and like your own enjoyment, but being glad about oh, yeah. it being able to be enjoyable for others and whatnot. Oh yeah, because I will be honest, a part of me was also expecting a little bit of some some people to watch it, considering, you know, how crazy amount of people like watching memes and such. Because, <laughs> like, who, who would freaking just like memes, you know? Memes are great. Memes are like what gives everyone life. It, what, <laughs> it brings everyone together. Memes are what gives everyone life. It's what brings everyone together. Yeah, boy, Guzma, 2021. They do, though. They really do. I mean, it's been successful for me so far, so... I mean, they I definitely honestly that. do, in a way. Like, we live in a society and, like, a widespread interwebs where people are constantly butting heads, like, all the time and whatnot. But, in the world of memes, people sharing that around, just like, Yo, check out this wacky meme I just found. That's the kind of thing that everybody can just laugh about, no matter whatever stance they might have on whatever other thing, you know? That's yeah, pretty much. The magical thing about memes. Come on, big money! Gosh darn it, it's not big money. Dang it, yeah, no. Second tries the charm. Giratina back at it again at not Krispy Kremes. You got pressure while well, I have a shark with no butt. But yeah, when it comes to the whole situation here, both with like Creators Collide, with your channel, with everything going on, is there anything else that you'd like to say or anything to add before we close things out? Um, not that I have in mind right now. I think I pretty much said anything that came to mind and everything that I wanted to say in this. No closing arguments I mean, to if... defend your client in court. In a court of law against murder. 
his face. I think one of the wackiest moments I've ever remember having on my channel, though, is whenever, like, because most of the time, my views are just pretty average. They won't get too many, but they still get quite a bit. <laughs> but the wackiest moments I remember is when suddenly it just blows up out of nowhere, just because, well, when a I never video had wins the, the YouTube lottery, as I like to call it. Oh the yeah. Technically, yeah, but technically, no. I don't think I've ever had any of those kind of comments on my channel where the YouTube algorithm showed up. <laughs> no, I wasn't saying but... like the YouTube algorithm leaving a comment. <laughs> I'm just saying the YouTube algorithm helping out because that's what happened with some of my videos where it's like I didn't oh, think yeah, that they were going to do that, super yeah. well. The, the YouTube algorithm was just like, jokes on you. 500,000 views now in the case of RCT video essay. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. That. I've gotten some of that a couple of times, but. It, and it definitely surprised me. But the answers may surprise as... you. <laughs> Click here to find out. Uh oh, I think we have. I think that was our last life that we could afford to spare. Oh no, are we gonna end on a bad note? Oh no. no. You just gotta believe. That's on we'll our be side. Like the mermaid. Like the mermaid what? from the SpongeBob movie, and she's like, "You just gotta believe." <laughs> the SpongeBob and Patrick. I saw this freaking edit recently of the scene where she gives like SpongeBob and Patrick the bag of air, and they open it to like have like the <laughs> air gust coming out. Somebody edited it so it's like a guy screaming when they open it. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, SpongeBob's God. just like, "What's in this bag?" And he opens it, and it's just like. Ah! <laughs> oh thing. lord. Boulder's not shiny, Zatu's not shiny, Klefki. But just you wait, here comes Giratina. Never mind. Nope. Screw this game. Nope. There is something I do want to mention though before you end up stopping the recording. Mm hmm. And that's definitely that I want to say. Um, overall, I really do appreciate you having me here. I had a blast overall. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Stuff here, so hopefully anyone else here is watching will be interested in checking stuff out. But usually I'm not the kind of person to self-promote myself, but if anyone here is genuinely interested in checking out my wacky stuff, it would be pretty cool. Wacky mashups and shit posts and whatnot. Yeah, animated shit posts and such. <laughs> Not like the other shit posts where people just photo crop. I'm faces not like the on, other like, shit posts, babe. Existing... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not like not like the other wacky shit posts where people just like crop out character faces and put it on already existing animations. Not like because I've seen a lot of those back then when Sun and Moon came out. But yeah, I kind of just do 3D and 2D shit posts. And maybe one day 4D. Oh. N that's like the top tier. That's top tier right there. Heck yeah. <laughs> Take me probably 3,000 years to learn that, but who knows? Yeah. I mean, technically Maybe. you're already doing it with 3D because 4D is just 3D over time. Technically. <laughs> well, that specific. is very true. That's very true. <laughs> but yeah, I would also like to say, appreciate you hopping onto the, onto the wacky show that we're starting up again here. Heck yeah, glad to be a part of it. Like I said, thanks for having me. Had a blast. You've oh. killed me! Oh yeah, Good. that guy. <laughs> Good. Good. I wonder what's for dinner. <laughs> My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. That move sucks, what the hell? What's Ganon up to? Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have <laughs> taken over the island of Coradine. <laughs> Only Link can defeat Ganon. <laughs> These are the faces of evil. <laughs> <laughs>